When I was first starting out, I quickly realized that using a dollar store sanding block was getting old really fast. It was time to upgrade, but where to start? Today, I'm going to talk about two very popular brands of sanders. One is a random orbit sander, and the other is a palm sander. Let's get started. When I was first looking at what kind of sander to buy, I narrowed it down between a palm sander and a random orbit sander. Making it even more confusing, they're both technically orbital sanders, indicated by the circular orbit pattern the pad makes. I initially purchased the Ryobi 2 amp palm sander because it seemed to meet the needs of some of my projects I was working on at the time. I wanted a simple sander for general, medium to heavy removal sanding. I soon realized, however, that it was less of an everyday sander for my purposes, and it really wasn't meant to be used for the type of sanding I was doing. The palm sander is better suited for finishing sanding rather than heavy removal. I also found that changing the sandpaper was kind of a hassle. Most available to buy are pricey, and you only get a handful. Also, they tend to be the adhesive kind, meaning that they stick directly to the sanding pad. As a result, I often felt like I had to commit to a grid of sandpaper for a project to justify the cost of using one. You have the option to use standard sandpaper and cut to size, but I didn't find that to be a practical solution either. In summary, the Ryobi Palm Sander is great for most finishing sanding, especially with the ability to use standard sandpaper cut to size. It's also lightweight and portable, making it easy to use. However, it wasn't really meant for heavy removal, and I found changing the sandpaper to be a constant hassle for how I was using the sander. Some of these issues could probably be chalked up to user error, but either way, I needed a different kind of sander. Overall, the Ryobi Palm Sander is great for a variety of finishing and fine sanding projects. At the time of this video, it's about $35 on Amazon. Now it's time to move on to the Random Orbit Sander. The Black & Decker 5-inch Random Orbit Sander is a 120 volt 2 amp portable hand sander. The sandpaper attaches via a hook and loop system similar to Velcro. This makes it easy to quickly adjust what grid I'm using for a particular project. It comes with a convenient dust collector with a sealed switch on the back for trapping dust. It's easy to take on and off, making cleanup and maintenance more efficient. There's an on-off switch on the front, however I found it to be extremely sensitive. Every once in a while, I would accidentally turn it off or on mid-project simply because my finger lightly touched it, but this doesn't happen enough to be a real deal breaker. I really love how portable and manageable it feels. It only weighs about 3 pounds, so I found it easy to use for long periods of time without experiencing much fatigue. The cord is around 6.5 feet long, so I often had plenty of room to move around a project while sanding. It was also really easy to set up, which I liked. I literally unpacked it and set it up in the middle of one of my build videos. Click the link to check that video out. Another big pro for me was the even finish that I got from sanding. I had a big problem leaving little swirl marks when using my palm sander, which was what initially led me to buying a random orbit sander. In summary, I like that it's easy to change the sandpaper on an as-needed basis. It's also lightweight, making it easy to use for long periods of time. And finally, I get a more consistent finish for my personal sanding needs. I only actually have one con, at least so far, and that's the sensitive on and off switch. For me, it's most comfortable to hold hand sanders with my hand gripping near the top, often causing my pointer finger to turn the sander off. Definitely an avoidable issue, but it was something I noticed. For me personally, this sander has been perfect for all my needs. And you can't beat the price. At the time of this video, it's only about $30 on Amazon, which is much cheaper than many other models. As an added bonus, it's really easy to get sandpaper. I got an 80-piece pack of varying grits for about $11. It's easy to use and handle, and a bargain at its current price. Do you guys use either of these sanders? If so, what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and high quality DIY builds.